Ever wonder how to change uh, the, the uh, nibs visual on the Wacom Intuos tablet? So watch the videos uh, to learn how. So the first thing is to actually uh, flip. So actually, this is how the tablet looks like when connected. So, for example, if you have a very worn down nib on your Wacom tablet, and so also you cannot exchange the Wacom tablet. The problem is that the whole tablet itself is like seventy dollars. It's very expensive. You know, the pen. I mean, the pen is actually maintaining most of the cost. So this, this tablet is the basic and the most basic model. This doesn't have any touchpad, and originally it's the cheapest I could find. It actually is the smallest. If you have a bigger version, or if you are a content creator, you it might be different for you because they have many versions. So the first thing is to actually move. So actually, I'm going to remove my uh, pen. So eventually, this is how it looks like the, the nib there is a little bit worn out. You can see it; it's uh, all right, but but eventually it's very worn out. Eventually, after a lot of usage, uh, so I'm going to disconnect my Wacom tablet, and after that, I flip. Uh, I will flip it, and then after that, so the first thing is to remove the bad middle cover. That so the other two covers are actually for different purposes. So actually, there are made three nibs. Eventually, that are came with the Wacom tablet itself. And so these nibs you can actually exchange with your pen. So instead of buying a new pen itself, so it will come with all the Wacom tablets that make multiple more nibs on uh, some other versions, like more professional models for different usages. So the first thing is to just take out the nib. So just take out the nib. It's actually going to take a few seconds to just take it out. Just you know, uh, so after taking out the nib, you can actually uh, remove the original nib on the Wacom pen itself. So just like, going to remove the nib. So the nib has been removed. But the next thing is to remove the nib of the default nib of the uh, Wacom pen. Just make sure you did a hole there. Just keep pull, pulling on it. It will, it will take a while to do it, but it's all right. This is going to take a few seconds. So if you keep pulling the nib, it then will pull out again. It come out. Sometimes it will stay inside there. So if now then you can put the nib. Uh, I'm just going to put it back on the tree. Do not get the card, but make sure if you do not get confused. Sometimes you might want to keep it in a different location to confuse this old nib. So make sure the next thing is to put it in the nib on the pen. So I'm going to do that in a few seconds. So I wait. Again, so actually, I'm going to after the, that I will exchange the nib. So I'm going to put the nib on the pen itself. So I actually just it's like a press fit. So I'm going to just put it through the hole, a uh, hole, and eventually the the press fit, and be done. Uh, after that, we um, you can start writing. Yeah, so after that, you can connect it. Now it's finally from put in. You can put back the back cover, eventually the middle cover, in the Wacom tablet. But eventually, you can start writing. So actually, I'm going to put that back the uh, middle cover into my uh, Wacom tablet. Just to see in a few seconds. So actually, it will work um, the same. It, it eventually gets worn out because it's like a piece of paper. So the next thing is that I'm just going to put back the nib um, to my Wacom tablet. Uh, so I'm going to switch to the computer in a few seconds. Which to show you how it works, and it's actually the pressure sensitivity. And I'm going to link the program that I'm using in the description below. So it's called Smooth Raw, and it's been free, and you can actually use it. If, uh, if many professional users use it, especially for example, Connor Cavendish. Uh, so basically, you can actually it's pressure sensitive. So when you put the more pressure to the tablet, it would actually become actually become a little bolder. This is actually you can take advantage of it. I recommend you resizing the uh, whole screen for, uh, first because by default it comes at 1024 by 768 and that is a very low resolution. So you, I recommend you switching to 920 by 1080 or 1820 by 720 depending on how many uh, how much screen is. Uh, I actually have a little bit of difficulty writing in the first place because um, uh, um, it's, not, it's not aligned to my computer screen. I actually, um, I, I actually project in a different area so yeah, so actually it was, so I could draw something, visually, uh, visually, it's, a, it's like a piece of paper actually, it's very good for digital explanations and other stuff like that. So, um, therefore, so actually you, you can download the program in the description below, which, for, for more information you can go to Smooth Draws website, and actually many professional users use this program as a, 
This doesn't have any viruses, just a note. And we piece them all work. So initially, this is a perfect program for using for drawing things. Which, like, but initially, also, there are ways to not worn out the pen nib. Uh, you can actually uh, add more pressure. When you put light pressure, you can actually you know, be more bolder. But I recommend just having a kind of light pressure. Something when sketching, it will, you can actually add more pressure. It will not cause that between problems. So, the, so actually, so many problems, stuff like that. So, so actually, you like, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share this video with other friends on the internet. Uh, eventually, you watch, so watch my last video. So, thanks for that lesson. So, thank you for watching this lesson. Bye. So, thank you for watching this lesson. Bye.